In this video we're going to be downloading and installing a Drupal distribution. But first, what is a distribution or a profile? Essentially every each of us that had at least once installed Drupal had actually installed a Drupal profile. So the Drupal profiles that are coming with Drupal core are standard, minimal and umami. So if you tried one of those or you had tried one of those for sure but if you know the difference between those profiles it's essentially the configuration that is there the modules that are enabled and their configuration between modules or of specific modules so that you have to do less work afterwards for a specific purpose so we're going to find where we could search for Drupal distributions or profiles and from where we could download them and how to install them. So on Drupal.org, if we simply hover on build and if we go to distributions, we see the current list of distributions on Drupal.org and they are listed by the most installed. So for example, Commerce Kickstart is a distribution that directly installs modules and configures everything so that when your Drupal installation is finished, you actually have a working Commerce website. Something similar is here this distribution that is making your Drupal instance into a learning management system. Lightning is enabling and configuring plenty of modules and is claiming to make your Drupal fast. And something that caught my eye is basically Varbase, a distribution that claims that as you install it, you are out of the box saving over 200 hours of configuration and development. So we're definitely gonna test that. And yeah, there are other nice Drupal distributions like Open Social. It actually looks super slick and it looks really nice on different devices and it has really nicely everything configured for example for a community where you have different groups and people enabling them to communicate to each other so uh, essentially let's go ahead and try this var base and the standard way of downloading a distribution is with composer and it's with Composer Create Project. So here is an example. So we're going to just copy this body here. And we're going to open our terminal and simply jump to a folder where we want to download it. And we're going to simply paste this and change the name of the project so varbase let's call it x varbase because we are experimenting with varbase uh, and hit enter so it would essentially download a code base which would be with a composer json file and it would run composer install in it that's the standard way the Composer create project works. Everything looks nice. And after we have it finished, we are going to open the dev desktop and we're going to start installing Drupal. Okay, that's good. So we have 
everything downloaded so the next thing we want to do is we want to open our aqua dev desktop and create a new project and we're going to import local drupal site so we're going to pick the exact place where we downloaded our distribution so it was in sites dev desktop and x var base and we're going to select here the doc root obviously so we click open we're going to use the latest php version we're going to create a database and we're going to call it x var base new database that's perfect so we hit ok and we're going to open xvar base in our browser and as we see it already looks fancy so we choose the language save and continue we already see that it's not the standard drupal installation so we're installing here <coughs> That's good. So my official site name, let's put something like xvarbase. It's good enough. And then hi at Drupal up. Hi at Drupal up. Then password. It's a webmaster, then let's have webmaster. That's okay. Email address, whatever. And check for updates. I usually disable that and we save and continue. And enable multiple language for this site well let's enable it or actually let's not enable it it's usually just faster without a second language or oh, it's going to ask us for everything so view modes inventory media hero slider let's get Varbase carousels, let's Varbase search, Varbase block, Varbase social signal sign in, Varbase API. Now, social signal sign in, we have to configure Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, assemble and install. I assume that's going to take a while. So there we go, it's already almost installed. So we have here the development tools. Let's install the development tools. And style guide, custom styling guide if you want to have a full look of verbose components. So let's hit continue. And it will install a bit more basically as it states here assembling the development tools and after that we are pretty much finished we have congratulations and we have a welcome to var base okay good get started i guess so we have here a media hero we also have here stuff from the tour in order 
to point for stuff how to be done we could add here sliders and stuff in order to have it here as a hero slider we obviously have pre-configured already like if we go to the structure we're going to see that we have already surely some content types like blog post hero slider landing page we have i see here a so the content it should be fairly standard it is standard we have the media which is good directly configured we have here something like a dashboard that looks interesting so we could add accounts here hero slider blog post this is these are the content types we could have google analytics here I guess it also shows I guess it also shows some kind of a diagram as we see here in one screenshot there was something yes here it looks like it shows Google Analytics diagram and uh, here it says how many items we have of each content type uh, we could manage menus and everything quickly so here we have for flushing caches running cron we have here quick search and pretty much I don't really see why that would save me 200 hours but it certainly looks good because obviously they took a lot of care to configure a lot of things yes as we check at content i saw that adding the content looks interesting because we already have some modules pre-configured so here for the title for example if we know how long the title would already not look nice with this module you could configure and it could warn you if the title is too big here we have some nice things already enabled in our YC week so we have an additional YC week profile we have here authoring information so if we save we see here we have the module that is essentially evaluating our keywords so yeah it pretty much looks quite nice and you would now be more confident if you have to download and install a Drupal distribution so this is essentially how you would do it so if you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe and thanks for watching.